Senator James Langford joining us here in studio. Senator, we're glad to have you here during the shutdown. Yeah, glad to be able to be a part of the conversation. So where and when does it end? It ends as soon as we can ever get everyone actually to the table negotiating. Uh, all of December, uh, Senator Schumer said, hey, I don't want to negotiate in December. I want to wait till Nancy Pelosi Speaker will negotiate in January. So that added 10 days. And then once uh, Speaker Pelosi is in place, then it's now we're going to start negotiations all over again. And most of the time it's been just trading barbs uh, through Twitter or through random press conferences rather than actually sitting down. So uh, the, the push that I have and several other Democrat and Republican colleagues has, let's get everyone to the table. Let's actually negotiate. Uh, for the first time this week, there is actually a proposal on the table uh, to say, let's start the negotiations. Uh, Democrats may not like everything that's in this proposal. There are aspects of it that are their designs. Uh, but let's put those things on the table and then negotiate it, amend it, and try to get this solved. And that's what you're going to vote on this week sometime in right. the Senate. This is a bill that the president talked about on Saturday afternoon. I think you had some role in it, right? You were in communication right. with the White House in, in coming up with that. And then the Democrats said it's dead on arrival right. because it doesn't have what we want in it. Um, so that's going to be voted on Thursday this week. Right. And it's already going to be not considered. The House, meantime, is passing its own bills to open the, the, the government, sending them to the Senate, and they're, they're not considered as well. So where do you stand then? At the end of the day, I think the Senate's going to be the one to resolve this. Mm -hmm. That is the bipartisan body. Uh, that's the one that has to be able to do things in a bipartisan way. Uh, the White House putting out a proposal uh, saying we would support this is a good first step. Put that on the table. Let's actually open up debate. The first vote on Thursday is not to pass it. The first vote is can we even debate this and amend it? Can we make changes? Then it's the encouragement for Democrats to bring proposals and to say how would you change it? What would you do to try to get us back to open again? I think there is a way to be able to get this resolved, clearly. We're seeing all these stories of government workers who are struggling, trying to figure out, do I make the car payment? Am I going to lose right. my house? 10% uh, of the TSA staff called in sick on, uh, on Sunday. Uh, and the optics just look really bad. Congressional salaries continue to be paid. Staff salaries continue to be paid. Right. Cabinet officers got a $10,000 pay raise. And yet these people are on television talking about, do I make a car payment or do I send my child to preschool? Uh, you know, pay the school enrollment fee, things like that. Uh, what would, and they're having to cut their family budgets and figure out what do we right. do, what do we pay for? Have you put yourself in that position? What, how would loss of a paycheck affect the Langford oh, gosh, it would, it would What would cut, what would be cut first? What would I cut out of the Langford <laughs> if you, budget? If a, if a paycheck wasn't coming in, oh, we'd have would, to do would the it affect your family? We would, absolutely would. We'd have to do the same thing. I was 22 years in ministry before I was in Congress. I didn't come into Congress as a wealthy person, right. to say the least. And uh, so we live like most Americans live in this. Uh, so we would have to do the same thing that every one of these federal workers is doing, try to figure out how do we spend less, what do we have to do on food, what do we have to do on everything else, making sure lights are off. I mean, all the standard thing everybody's going to do, and then start making the phone calls to say, can I pay this later? Yeah. Uh, those, are, those are real challenges for real families.